What happened at Lake Nyos in Cameroon in 1986 initially perplexed the world. A great many people could all die all around about the same time, with no alarm being raised, led to an urgent investigation to find out what had actually taken place and attempt to stop it occurring again, either at Lake Nyos or elsewhere in the world. On the night of the 21st of August 1986, over 1,700 people, nearly twice that number of cattle and other livestock, died. All of these were living close to the fertile area surrounding the volcanic Lake Nyos. The lake itself was formed over 500 years ago by the eruption of a volcano, which is part of the reason why the area surrounding the lake is so fertile. However, the volcano is currently dormant, so it wasn't actually regarded as a threat by the local population. It soon became apparent from interviewing a few survivors, from examining the bodies of others, the cause of death had been asphyxiation. Somehow, a large quantity of carbon dioxide had been released and had rapidly flowed across the area, resulting in the deaths, along with serious medical problems for the survivors, which were made worse by the presence of hydrogen and sulfur-based gases. The parts of Lake Nyos are set supersaturated with carbon dioxide, much in the same way that soft drinks are, except the scale here is considerably different. A large bottle of cola may contain, say, 12 grams of carbon dioxide. It's estimated that Lake Nyos contains 7 trillion times more. The carbon dioxide feeds into the bottom of the lake from the magma chamber below. However, rather than rising to the top of the lake and being dispersed by the wind, the gas becomes trapped in the colder layers of water at the base of the lake. In most large lakes, the layer at the bottom of the lake which is at 4 degrees centigrade, because water at that temperature is denser than water that is either warmer or colder than that. In addition to this, Lake Nyos is over 200 metres deep in parts. The water at the bottom of the lake is then also under tremendous pressure. Water that pressure can hold many times its own volume in carbon dioxide. Because of the layering effect due to the temperature difference, the supersaturated water at the bottom of the lake doesn't actually go anywhere, it just becomes more and more saturated with carbon dioxide until some kind of event disturbs the equilibrium. Now, a landslide, volcanic eruption, earthquake, even a rainstorm have all been put forward as possible triggering factors in this overturn of layers of the lake. None of them have even been conclusively proved or ruled out. And my personal favourite, however, is that it was actually triggered by the magma below the lake, warming the bottom of the layer of the lake, causing it to become less dense and then rise to the surface. Whatever the cause, once the water starts to rise, the pressure decreases and the carbon dioxide starts to dissolve out of the water. As this happens, the water becomes lighter and still quickly makes its way to the surface where it releases nearly all of the carbon dioxide dissolved within it. Now because carbon dioxide is heavier than air, it flows out from the surface of the lake in vast quantities, resulting in the asphyxiation of the local people and animals. So the problem then was how to stop this occurring again, not just at Lake Nyos, but also at any similar lakes around the world. The solution is actually a relatively simple one. Take a pipe down to the bottom of the layer of the lake, and initially you pump water up from the bottom of the lake, and the controlled release of carbon dioxide. Once the water has actually released the top, the pump is actually no longer needed, so the action of the carbon dioxide dissolving out of the water continues to drive more water up to the top of the pipe. The critical issue then is just the size of the pipe or pipes that you use. You can ensure that enough carbon dioxide is being removed from the lake that reduces the risk, but not too much that the release itself poses a threat. Hopefully this degassing process will stop events like Lake Nyos from ever happening again around the world.